Oh, g'day guys, I wasn't ready for that. A very good evening. This is Adam again from Adby Media talking to you from Sydney, Australia, where the temperature is actually dropping a little bit, which is great. I apologise for all the crap in the background. Um, we're cleaning out my daughter's playroom, which is a fun event for all. <laughs> okay, guys, um, today what I'm going to do is help you supercharge your terrarium um, TV install uh, on your Android devices. Look, straight out install Tronium is fantastic, um, but if you want it a little bit quicker, a little bit better, um, I've tried this, it worked a treat. Follow me through, and you're going to find that your experience with Tronium will go from great to absolutely fantastic. Um, so follow me through. Um, I've got a brand new install of Tronium TV installed on my TV box. Um, and we're going to go step by step and install it. Now, during the installation, you're going to hear me talk about VPN. That means Virtual Private Network, for those that don't know. And what that essentially does um, is allows us to see more links and better quality links than you do normally. Um, this is because of many reasons. Um, your ISP, your internet service provider, for example, my Exitel could be blocking some of those links and not allowing you to see everything that you should be able to see. So by using the technology VPN, Virtual Private Network, and connecting to that first, we go out to the world, not through my internet service provider, but through that connection. So I'll show you that as well through the tutorial. Okay. I'm going to stop talking um, and we're going to get going with this. I'm straight up into a brand new installation of uh, Trinium TV. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of my face entirely down the bottom there um, for a moment. So I'll move myself over here so you can't see me. Um, and this is brand new install version 1.9.1. Um, so I'm just going to go OK, yes, OK, don't ask me again, um, cancel, and it's asking me which um, which video player I'm use as a brand new install. So those of you that saw my last video, I'm just going to select VLC player. This is the disclaimer, accept, OK. So this is a brand new install. The first couple of things I want to do uh, is come up here to the hamburger menu. We'll come down to settings. Okay, now through the settings window here, let me just put myself up here somewhere. Um, we want to come down to a few things. Um, the first things on the screen here is I want it to tick. Now I, I do this as a personal preference because I only want to see English shows. So I'm going to tick filter out English shows. Show links only in HD. Now that, that's something you can do. Um, so it only shows you HD links. I do that. I want quality. Filter out can version. It's going to filter out the crap. So it's not going to show you crappy versions of stuff. Now default play action. So do you know when you go into Trinium and it says what do you want to do? Do you want to play, play all, play with subtitles, stuff like that. By coming in to choose default play action and going directly to play, that eliminates you having to go to play with subtitles, play with, download, download with subtitles, copy stream, and all that sort of crap. It eliminates that, and it just goes straight and play. Now, if we keep coming down this list here, to make the search for um, links a lot quicker and a lot better, I'm going to turn off Resolve All Links Immediately. I'm going to turn that off. That makes it a little bit quicker. Auto resolve HD links only. No, nope, I want to turn that off as well. That's going to increase the loading of links a lot better also. So source links refresh interval in seconds. So this is how long it takes to refresh that list that you see. Now, I typically keep it at 11. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the highest one that you can do here is 15. So if it keeps freezing while you're loading, increase it to that. It gives that extra time to load all those links and refresh them. Um, and that actually does help with the list as well. So as we keep coming down here, 
The next things we are actually doing is making your viewing experience a little bit nicer. So we're just looking at the user interface. So show, I like to put this on, show season specials. Yeah, I want to see the specials. Um, hide unaired seasons. No, I don't want to hide the unaired seasons. And hide unaired episodes. No, I don't want to do that. For example, the Big Bang Theory. Now, if you went into the Big Bang Theory just with the default settings, you wouldn't be seeing the unaired pilot. And believe me, it's worth having a look at. It's bloody funny. Um, so if we keep coming down here, I want to force the Android TV mode. Now, force landscape mode for Android TV, because obviously this is on Android TV, but if it wasn't, you could take that off and it's not going to be landscape mode. Now, simple scrolling again for Android TV, because I'm on an Android TV. So it's going to make the scrolling a lot easier and a lot more effective for you. Um, so we can keep coming down here. There's a lot more settings, but there's nothing else that we really need to change. Now, we can take off these couple of items here, if you're not Chinese, obviously, and that will increase things as well. If you want to make your experience and your install of Trinium TV your own, you can change this. You can change the subtitles. Um, and, and down here you can back up your settings and stuff like that. So you can do all this nice and beautiful for you, back up your favourites and then move it to another device. Um, and then under here you've got remove ads, translate, open the subtitles area. So right now we've made our training TV our own and it will load things a lot quicker. Now, I'm going to come out of here, I'm going to exit out Trinium TV, and we're going to come back in. So let's come back in. That loaded a lot quicker, and I'm going to just use Star Trek Discovery. I'd love to know people's opinion on Discovery. I'm a Trekkie, I love my Star Trek. I'd love to know what you guys think of it. Um, is it canon? Does it fit in the canon world? You know? Okay, I'm going to find an episode here at random. I'm going to play. I don't care about that, so I'm just going to name more, no more, more ads, even though there's no more ads than the others. I've tried them both. Um, so, I, yeah, it's just something we can switch. We don't care. So let's wait and see what comes up here for us. So straight away, I know just from my experience that that is a lot more links than of that I normally have and a lot quicker. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm impatient. So I'm just going to give it a few more seconds to load a few more links up. Um, so it's only really showing me the HD stuff at the top there. 720. And there's your slow server. There's your fast server. So obviously you would go to your fast server first if that's showing. Um, so that's showing quite a lot very quickly. Um, so what we could possibly do now is just click on it and load it. Let's click on it, load it up, and see what happens. Sorry about my sitting. It's like here. And there we go. It started up. No compatible CPUs. That's only my device, guys. Don't worry too much. Okay. So I'm going to exit out of all this now. The first thing we're going to do, though, so you guys can see the difference, and you'll need to do this also if you actually set this up. I need to go into the settings area and come all the way down, and I need to clear the cache. So the cache is cleared now. I'm going to exit out of there and I'm going to load up a virtual private network. Yes, you're seeing adult stuff there. I was testing some APKs that people sent me and I'm, I'm not the happiest chappy with them, so we're not going to go into that. Um, we're going to go to my VPN program, which I'm using Proxy Master, but you can use any program that you've got. So I'm just going to load that up. It's got ads because it's free. And skip the ad, and I can change the server to anything I like. Now, it's best to use the server closest to your home, but you also find if I change it to say the US or Germany, the, the greener the best, the usage, and all that type of thing, if I change it to something like that, I would get different links. Um, but I am just going to pick Australia. Um, so we'll go back. 
and we'll die connect or or already connected. No, okay. I am connected now, it's got a nice big tick there, and we've got the little thing flicking around. Okay, so let me just get out of here again. Let me just go to Terenium TV and we, we have cleared the cache, so that's going to be all gone. Um, and let's go to Star Trek Discovery again. Let's go to Season 1, Episode 7. Let's kick it into gear. And we'll just see if it has brought up more links for us. And look, normally I don't try this stuff in advance, but I've been playing around and trying this stuff. Um, and so I do know that it, uh, it actually does. And you'll see that straight away it's quicker bringing up these links, and it has got quite a few more than it did have before. Um, so if you just wait, it takes about a minute really to bring them all up. Um, you'll find that you get a lot more, you get a lot more 1080p links. Um, but seriously, when oh, me personally, when I'm watching this stuff, it's going to be a one-off normally. Um, or I'm just going to watch it in the background. I'm going to watch it the once or whatever. And I don't normally really care about um, 1020p, oh, 1080p, sorry. It's only when I'm watching movies and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to click on the top one. And it's just resolving my HD link. And there we go. Started fairly quickly there. Um, it's about, oh, you could say it probably started about the same, but the just reaction time of the fact that we don't need to worry about um, pressing play and just the feeling of the program. I, I just feel that it worked a lot quicker um, than I've experienced in the past. Um, Sorry, I just turned that off. Okay, so that's that's it, guys, really. Um, that's our program for today. It's a little bit longer than the seven minutes I'm trying to stick to, but um, any questions, comments, theories, anything you'd like to talk about, really, chuck down in the comments. I'm more than happy to respond to anything. Um, yeah, and you just have a really good night, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Cheers.